even talk about Islam. That's the reason yeah. I have so much respect for Islam as a whole because they I have, have the, yeah, I have so much respect for it because they have a baseline morality. We're here in Dubai. You could walk outside and find a poor construction worker who just moved here, who's earning, I don't know, no money, you know, can barely afford to eat and offer him a million dollars to denounce the prophet. He won't do it. No, wait, he'll never no do chance. it. He'll never do it. No Whereas chance. in the West, if you were to go and find a Christian, one dollar. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean anything, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's that baseline morality that they can't corrupt that they're afraid of. It's why they're afraid of Islam. It's why they're afraid of me. It's why they're afraid of people who sit and say there is more to life and existence in this and the next yeah. than simply degeneracy and or you being know, bought and owned. And you know, I feel like Islam, the way they talk about Islam, it's kind of like you see you see the patterns. Whenever there's something a force that's that's trying to change people, they'll try to put labels on it. The literal name Islam comes like Salam. It means peace. Yeah. But they'll try to put these labels on it because you know they don't they don't like Islam. Yeah, they, they don't like anything they can't completely and utterly control. Yeah, and, and Muslims are uncontrollable. Well, yeah, they have a higher agree. purpose and a higher calling. I do think a lot of the world's problems, especially in the West, with the absolute degeneracy and the work of, what do you say, shaitan? Shaitan, yeah. The work of shaitan. <laughs> shaitan. It could be fixed with Islam. Honestly, I, I, yeah. I call for the Islamification of all Western countries because Christianity has absolutely and utterly failed. The idea of a religion is to preserve the morality and preserve the traditions of a country. Exactly. If you have failed to do that, then you're no longer a religion. If you're going to sit there and inside of your own country, your prophets are mocked, all of your ideals are ignored. And it's okay. And it doesn't matter. Yeah. And, all, ahead, go, yeah. and society is degenerating in real time and your children are no longer safe from brainwashing by the matrix, then your religion in and of, in and of itself as a concept has failed. Christianity has failed to preserve Christian values on any level in any country ever. So when now that you know it's a failed religion, that only leaves one religion left in which you can install, degeneracy will disappear, yeah. crime will disappear, mm -hmm. men and women will stay families again, people will have children, and people all the hard. world's problems will be fixed. They'll chase their goals. Absolutely, I call for the Islamification of the entire Western world because otherwise we have atheistic countries and when you remove religion, now what do you have? People are now adhering to woke ideology and this new insane religion. Everybody has a religion. If you remove Christianity from the West, you don't have atheists. You now have these people ad adhering to this woke new world liberal psychopathy where people are doing absolutely insane and disgusting things to each other and children. And they're sitting there saying that that's progressive somehow. And it's absolutely and utterly disgusting. So yeah. if we need a God to believe in, to preserve morality and decency amongst humanity, then let's have a God that people actually fear and respect. And that's why Islam is the only religion left on the planet. There's no other religion you can possibly name that even matters. Mm -hmm.